Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? I've got some exciting news for you today. I wanted to show you guys that the Diablo 3 beta launcher is currently available. Now there's a few things you need to keep in mind. Just because we're downloading this doesn't mean that the beta is available right now. It doesn't mean that it's active, up and running. In fact, currently the servers for the beta are not up. So what this means is that even if even while downloading this right now, we don't have access to the beta. It's not like all of a sudden, hey, I can I can use I can play the beta now. I'm all set. We're ready to rock. It doesn't really work like that. Two things need to take place. First and foremost, the servers need to become activated. They need to be basically turned on or become available. And that's not currently the case. Currently, the beta servers are down. Secondly, you need your account activated for the beta. So just because I am downloading the client doesn't mean that I can right now log in and play the Diablo 3 beta and everyone's happy. It doesn't really work like that. My account needs to become activated. The servers need to go live. Neither of those, th neither of those things are currently happening. Now, I just wanted to get, show you guys the launcher itself. Just wanted you to take a look at it. We can see there's the news section with recent news on the community page, as well as the community section um, leading you to all sorts of various different things. So BlizzCon contest signups, yada, yada, yada. Now, the launcher itself contains this options, resetting game preferences, parental controls there, uh, the info section with the community website forums, and then a help section for technical support. We can go ahead and take a look at the game preferences. Not going to reset them now, though, um, just because we actually want to go into the... Go into the login screen and take a look at what those available options are so you can see right now it is available for play technically again keep in mind it's not actually available for play still streaming it it still needs to finish downloading but again even when i finish downloading this i am not able to play the beta until the servers are up and the account is activated but let's just take a look here and see what we have for options this is going to bring us up to the login screen and this will let us take a look at the uh, the game some of the general settings and stuff like that but besides that not much else oh beautiful day beautiful beautiful glorious day all right, my friends, so here we are, the Diablo 3 beta login screen. I just wanted to show this to you guys. Obviously, the basic stuff, battle and account name, password, login, all of that. We've got a few grayed out options here on the left-hand side, including the credits, cinematics, and manage account. Now, I did just want to run you guys through the options just, just to show you what is going to be available once the beta is up and running. Under video options, we, of course, have the full screen or windowed mode options uh, screen resolution we'll go ahead and take a look at that currently the highest available is 1920 by 1080 all the way down to the lowest available resolution 1024 by 76 768 all right so then we of course have texture quality shadow quality physics quality anti-aliasing and then various other options here uh, for the different uh, graphical settings depending on what your system can handle all right, now moving over to sound options. Uh, we, of course, have everything from master effects all the way down to the sound channels available. You have the option for subtitles as well as reversing to the left and right speakers. Now on to the gameplay itself. Now this is going to be a whole bunch of stuff for in-game options. You can see the options for scrolling combat text basically to display the damage, uh, critical defensive measures, option to zoom in when your inventory is open. So this will zoom the camera into your character whenever you open up your inventory. Auto equip items, uh, the show item labels on drop, show tutorials, and then designation pings for quest and stuff like that. And now they have the various different options for showing the, the names of items as they drop on the ground. Uh, these are the different options you have to choose from. Tooltip section, currently nothing is available there. And then there's another section to display uh, monster health, injured uh, enemy player health, uh, health bars of friendly players. And then there's an option as well to lock skills. And this is pretty cool. This will stop you from accidentally switching out skills in the middle of combat, which of course can be something that is very frustrating. Now under the keyboard options, this is going to be all the various options to uh, bind your hotkeys essentially. So any of the hotkeys available in games, uh, this is the, the general section, then there's the message controls for sending messages to and from people, and then of course the skill control options so you can bind your skills to whatever you want. And as you can see, there are two bars, there are two different sets for every... Uh, every skill so for skill one you can either hit one or you can bind it to something else whatever you like we'll go ahead and leave that 
And then there you go, there's the option for the customer service, exit game, and return to game. So pretty cool stuff. Beta client is currently available. I will reiterate once again though, the beta is not currently up. The servers still need to go up and the beta client needs to be attached to your account before you would actually ever be able to play. Now this is something that we're expecting to happen pretty soon within the next few days to next couple of weeks. I'm guessing though, between the end of this week or the end of next week, we should have the beta up again. Here's the client. Pretty awesome stuff. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. Once the Diablo 3 beta is up and running, we will be pumping out tons of gameplay content. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.